स्टडी आई क्यू अब तैयारी हुई अफोर्डेबल थ्री व्हीलर में आया है क्या यस सर टू व्हीलर से आना पड़ा था टू व्हीलर से तो क्या मतलब थोड़ा बाल वाल सब उड़े हुए हैं हवा में आई वॉज लेट फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड दैट इज वाई I couldn't find time to shave today. Yes, sir. What is the style of? Uh, I. Uh, How do you intend going into the UPSC? Sir, I I I'll properly groom myself before going to the. No, proper shave. करके जाएँगे. Yes, sir. थोड़ा बालों को भी चेक करके जाइएगा. Sure, sir. अब तो सारे हवा में मोड़ रहे हैं. You're from IIT. Yes, sir. Delhi. Yes, sir. Very good. इसमें तो आपका जो वेरी डिटेल अचीवमेंट्स, बायर्ट इंटरेस्ट, हॉबीज एंड What patents? Yes. Yeah. I mean, with this rich creditor, what will you do with all this in civil services? I mean, you would make such a good startup. Ka bhi apka it is to your credit, isn't it? You, you, we start up issue ke na. Yes. So I mean, you why not stay back here and do some good work because. Now even IITians are uh, kind of you know shying to get into placements. They they don't want to get into placements when companies visit. And is it is it correct? Sir, uh, I think sir it um, it is true that there are some people who are uh, willing to opt out of placements to pursue career in research, startup, and civil services. But still, there are people whose number is increasing. so i would say that in my opinion there is no pattern as such that it's increasing or decreasing it depends on every year to year no what, what do the what does the data say on the this thing that numbers we what we hear about the data apparently says is that they are more and more shying away from this because you know the kind of environment that is being promoted in the country that a lot of them want to do something of their own Sir, so I won't you like to stay back? Uh, sir, uh, actually, I graduated in two thousand seventeen, and uh, then I decided to stay back and start up my own company and convert a college project into a thriving business. But sir, uh, in that, uh, I found it very difficult to sustain the whole uh, ecosystem, and because of the successive lockdowns, also our operations were severely hampered. And apart from that, because we were fresh graduates. Uh, to convert a technology into a viable business it requires many other aspects it requires more expertise i hope from civil services you won't opt out to something else sir after you get into civil services sir uh, in my experience i have found that it gives me more meaning when i am doing something which is impactful on ground specifically agriculture and environment so i try to do that in the startup Okay. while civil what services are two three four things that you are carrying into or you intend to carry into civil services that these are the areas you would focus upon or this is the work approach you would focus upon uh, so primarily uh, i would say that before starting up any project i would try to articulate my vision to understand what exactly is the problem and how should be my approach uh, secondly uh, i would be more objective when it comes to the formation of team formation of team assessment of team and uh, if required uh, firing of uh, team members also thirdly i would say sir uh, i would try to assess the impact and key performance ye, ye to sir modalities ki baat kar rahe hain you know tell me what kind of passion what kind of you know vision that you are carrying i mean you intend to carry into civil services sir i personally think that uh, India is uh, at this point of time when we are facing issues like climate change etc India is India can be at the forefront because of its agricultural background no, but is climate change uh, the prime issue before <clears throat> India I think sir the climate change is a prime issue the before top issue is one of the topmost issue in the world which is the topmost issue before India today if you were to list let's say four or five issues which are absolutely you know burning concerns and which india should pay attention to leaving other things behind 
what are those top three would climate change come into them sir uh, i would say that these top issues can be uh, looked from different perspectives one of the perspectives can be issues inside india uh, for example achieve- inside india please tell me inside india three top issues for example achieving an equitable growth proper distribution of uh, services uh, public services mm-hmm. when it comes to um, education health etc mm-hmm. secondly sir i would say uh, interconnectivity of remote areas uh, for example reliable infrastructure availability in terms of providing electricity roads etc mm-hmm. and thirdly sir uh, i would say uh, pollution and climate is also a very severe issue in india did abraham lincoln drink this sir i i am sorry i have no idea is drinking good or bad you are from bihar so i am diverting and you are from bihar isn't yes, sir. it yes sir. is drinking good or bad so uh, i would say sir that drinking is bad in my opinion but yeah, all opinions that you are expressing are your opinion so you don't have to prefix sure sir yeah so i think sir drinking it is bad but categorically saying or categorically prohibiting anybody from uh, drinking would be a kind of excess would be kind of so it is said that excess of anything is bad and i think sir that excess comes on both the directions so what about spurious drinks there should be there should be allowed or banned or wo bhi thoda thoda control karna chahiye not excess control Sp- spurious as in i'm sorry the spurious drinks the spurious daru which they they see uh, sir kya bolte hain usko spurious hi bolte hain na क्या बोलते हैं लोकल 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 ड्रिंक जो बनाते पे बनाते हैं लोकली ब्रूड इज अ बेटर वर्ड ओके सर शुड आल्सो बी नॉट एक्सेसिवली कंट्रोल्ड सर आई थिंक दैट इट इज द पीपल्स चॉइस हु ऑप्ट फॉर लिकर बट इन मेनी केसेस मोस्टली इन विलेजेस इट हैपेंस दैट लिकर इज नॉट इजिली अवेलेबल और अफोर्डेबल and therefore people opt for hooch and uh, some uh, tree based uh, drinks also like pine tree they call it neera in bihar so pine pine palm, palm, palm sorry ah, palm tree pine kaam ka bhi hai yeah we pine only ke india ke log bade ingenious hai wo pine ki bhi bana denge nahi wo homeopathy dawai se bana rahe hain to aaj ka before we proceed further continue further i would advise you थोड़ा सा ना अलर्ट होके बैठो जो मैं बिल्कुल आपके कुर्सी पे लेट गया हो ठीक है फीडबैक में तो बताएंगे हम आपको मौका दे रहे हैं कि बाकी के इंटरव्यू में हाउ डू यू यू नो शुड लुक अलर्ट वो ठीक है आप हवा में आए वो तो बात खत्म हो गई है ना योर बॉडी पोस्टर शुड भी थोड़ा आराम से बैठो कम्फर्टेबल हो जाओ डोंट वेरी वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर द इंटरव्यू रिलैक्स Okay, you are relaxed yes sir. okay good yeah so we were talking of hooch yes sir now since as you said it is not easily available daru the normal liquor good liquor and hooch they depend on it because it is affordable so should they not instead of prohibition they should not go in for cheaper daru you know prepared by the controlled uh, the thing there are a lot of uh, the cheaper darus available in the market which they which are certified to be good and healthy yes so shouldn't they go for this instead of uh, sort of destroying these huge addas and bhattis and things like sir uh, i think that implementing a liquor ban a blanket liquor ban across the state requires a very high administrative uh, challenges so when it comes to uh, as you pointed out the hooch thing i think sir it should be properly regulated and uh, the government can take initiatives for quality certifications of these kind of drinks the chief minister of bihar is he wrong when he says that uh, if they drink uh, spurious liquor hooch and if they die uh, they sh- uh, i mean they can die uh, nobody can do anything and no compensation should be given to the families left behind would you agree with him uh, sir i think that uh, the whole rationale of liquor prohibition was to uh, reduce domestic violence and uh, 
guide you to do some useful job now the death which has been caused because of uh, hooch drinking was the uh, the the people who drink, drank that they didn't know and apart from that there were certain administrative lacunas also so i think it is the modal and sida jawab the compensation should be given to them or we go by the chief minister that if they are drinking bad liquor and dying uh, they, nobody can help them and uh, there should be no compensation given to the families would you agree with this so i personally think that compensation should be given because it is the moral uh, responsibility of the government uh, to provide the uh, families as you rightly said that it was done uh, this prohibition was done in the interest of families at the first place yes because the husbands or family members male members were drinking uh, excessively as you yes yeah can you just quickly tell me what is the world record on prohibition i mean has it been successful or not wherever it is uh, imposed sir uh, i do not have much knowledge about the global uh, uh, records of prohibition but as far as i know in india there are prohibition in gujarat also which as far as you know you are not sure i am not very much sure of uh, the exact data but coming from bihar you should be sure who all are uh, practicing prohibition and who are not sure sir i'll look in the country i'll look yes gujarat is uh, 100% implementing it yes sir what what is their record sir uh, i think sir the implementation is better than uh, it is there in bihar but there also uh, there are issues of smuggling liquors uh, in the state from uh, nearby areas Mm -hmm. now as if as part of the you get into ias and call god forbid if you also are uh, you know associated with the administration of prohibition yes then what best uh, measures would you recommend would help prevent breach of prohibition is my question clear to you that how can you ensure that it the spurious liquor drinking is all together prevented okay because that is what prohibition demands yes sir so what two three measures you would suggest sir uh, firstly uh, i'll try to make sure that the law and order part is uh, very tightened when it comes to importing these liquors from uh, nearby states so yeah, how would you do that you think the uh, such a uh, huge police department and all other paramilitary authorities they they are not aware of this that it is being smuggled in that it is being made locally being made they are all aware of it so i do think uh, that they are aware of it but uh, then how would i think that different? i think sir uh, that uh, more strict actions should be taken uh, and maybe more training can be provided to the people on ground there so how would you make it full proof that uh, i mean nothing is overlooked sir uh, at the moment the ideas which are coming out uh, i would say that we can provide some kind of scanners like uh, when a vehicle passes through or enters bihar you can easily scan what kind of materials are there inside and apart from that uh, tell my last part of uh, last last question to this that don't you think that uh, all this prohibition and you must go and read on this that sure. prohibition is nowhere successful i mean this is the general opinion there may be exceptions gujarat story is not we don't know much but largely it is believed that it is nowhere been successful us experimented with it that you must also read sure but in the context of india don't you think that all these prohibition policies and i mean similar measures that they are simply populist just to please the you know certain vote banks and apparently the current chief minister is reportedly he could get plenty of votes from women more women voters came in to vote for him because he was doing something very good so don't you think that the intention is very populist sir um, in my personal experience on uh, in my own village i think sir that liquor wo uh, wo liquor was a very serious problem because it caused uh, violence in homes also and uh, there was uh, feuds from village to village etc on a daily basis okay, okay. thank you very much <coughs> ankur uh, you finished your uh, studies in 2017 isn't it yes 
what have you been doing for last five years then sir uh, in the college itself we had a project of uh, converting a recycled paper into final products usable products that i tried to uh, convert that into a startup company okay this uh, you are ceo of uh, kriya lab is it the same uh, yes sir yes okay yeah, they are you are doing that startup in that yes sir okay wonderful uh you you have recently heard of uh, last year that uh, there there has been a lot of reduction in jobs in usa yes particularly for the computer engineers or something how is impacting in india sir uh, specifically mass layoffs in us which uh, you are talking about i think there are uh, there are two Im- major impacts uh, which i can think of at the moment first is that people are returning from us back to india and they are starting up their own businesses and that is in fact generating some sort of employment and creating a good startup ecosystem mm-hmm. uh, secondly i would say sir it has a negative impact also because uh, there are many people who are negatively affected financially and psychologically also because of their job losses and their family is suffering so these two points and apart from that in general i think that uh, it is also a dent to a largely believed thought that uh, getting into it or computer services is a very secure job okay yes okay now you have been interested in uh, performing theater art yes sir very occasionally in your iit days yes are you still continuing with it sir i tried to join some theater groups but uh, unfortunately i was not able to continue it properly there there have been a lot of uh, engineers who joined the film line later on do you know some of them can you name sir i know uh, of uh, a bollywood actor named sushant singh rajput he was an engineer yeah from delhi itself from delhi other than that sir i am not uh, i am not able to recall not that. a problem okay now tell me this uh, carbon free pledge one of the indian companies has signed which is that company i'm sorry sir i am not aware of this it's a <clears throat> it's a infosys which have signed this has been you know initiated by the founder of uh, amazon okay uh, jeff bros jeff bezos and uh, Glo- uh, global optimism founder forum of un climate change that he was the chief of their mr christian figures okay if if you become a district magistrate yes and you are given responsibility that you should prevent major incident to take place like gas leak at sector which has happened in bhopal uh, what measures will you take uh, sir considering the reach of infrastructure facilities right now i think sir the first step i would take is to uh, take up all these uh, regulations online like install proper sensors so that we are able to get real time data of any kind of pressure losses uh, so that we can we are able to uh, detect it properly secondly sir uh, i would say uh, that a proper maintenance should be done so in my experience i have found that there are many industries who do not shut down for uh, their weekly and monthly maintenance because of the intended loss in revenues so in that part uh, uh, i would be properly ensuring uh, that thing by maybe using internet or maybe uh, uh, doing random field visits thirdly sir in order to ensure the safety of industries uh, i'll try to make sure the labor laws are complied properly so in that regard uh, uh, self self attested certificates from industries can be taken and uh, uh, trade unions or uh, business associations uh, can also be looped in to form a common ground uh, so that the laws are complied properly don't you think that you should have a contingency plan in place to deal with such kind of disasters or any other kind of disaster you should you should should you have that i i think sir yes that and that that should be a, a major point because uh, disasters uh, i think dm is one of the prominent uh, is one of the important issues yes sir so you may like to study this sure. okay thank you
Okay, Ankur, you are coming from Patna, yes. Delhi IIT. Yes. Hmm? So, when did you decide finally that I should appear for IS? So, I decided uh, during the second lockdown, uh, second COVID lockdown. After completion of your IIT degree. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, after completion of my IIT degrees and after three years in my start. Don't you think that you wasted five years in IIT? Sir, uh, I think that uh, during the whole IIT uh, period, uh, I was able to understand myself better. And I was able to understand how a technology is made, how uh, it can be uh, further. Yes, the IIT education was meant for, there was a specific target about that, that IIT is giving a subsidized education for serving the country in the field of technology development. They didn't want it to develop you as a bureaucrat. Don't you think you have cheated the government and the people of India? Sir, uh, I think that the whole rationale of setting up of institutes like IIT is for an overall development of India and technology is one of the aspects in that. Hmm. So, I certainly did try doing technological developments up to a certain extent, but uh, I think that in order to have a more holistic development, uh, I decided to switch to uh, bureaucracy. And what was your, uh, your engineering physics? Engineering physics. Hmm? So you must, have, must, if you are an IIT graduate, you should be working in the field of engineering physics. That is the development of India. Okay. Development of India doesn't become because you become an IS. So do you think that we put a system where if you don't do use the degree of IIT for the purpose for which it is meant, then you should sign a bond and return to the government of India the money spent on you? Sir, um, I think that um, during the college days or in, in those period, we are not very much aware of our own personality. The IIT degree, let's say engineering physics, gives you a better understanding of how thinking is done, how you are able to learn new things. So that uh, signing a bond specifically to work um, in a core physics department or any core branch would be, I think, constraining the creativity of an individual. Oh, so then you mean that those who are studying in, say, St. Stephen's or Hindu College or Science College, they are not being developed into that line? Certainly, sir, they are being developed into so then that line. Then where is the difference? Uh, I think, sir, that… Well, think a better answer than sure, what sir. you gave. Sure, sir. Okay. So what is the reason why Bihar, in spite of 75 years of independence, still fighting with the issue of flood and non-industrialization. Give me two, three bullet point answers. Sir, uh, when it comes to flood, I think uh, one of the issues is uh, the embankments which have been... There were river valley for projects. Don't take that alibi. After, uh, since five, first five year plans, there were multiple river valley projects which work, have worked on them. Yeah, so the second point can be uh, the... Nip no, the first point. The first point which I was trying to make is that the embankment which have been formed on the Kosi has not worked properly. But that is the fault of the human system. That is not the fault of the uh, policy formulation. For that, people from Bihar are responsible. Uh, in, uh, on ter in terms of policy side, sir… What was the second point that you told? Uh, the second point, sir, uh, I was trying to make was the relations with Nepal. Hmm. Uh, because in general, the water which is being released by Nepal which causes floods is… Hmm largely unplanned and erratic. That's what we do with Bangladesh. When we release water from for Tista or at Ganga, we cause uh, flood there. So I think that's the normal system. I if you have excess water, you release it. Sure, sir. So I think more proactive and uh, um, cooperative steps can be taken. Either it comes from India or Bangladesh or it comes from Nepal. The chief minister raised a point in this regard. He said that a dredging of Ganga should be done. Do you think that is a feasible and a practical option? Sir. Or that is another money minting exercise? Sir, uh, I think that uh, because of the debris deposition in river valleys, uh, there are issues uh, of channel blocking, etc. So, dredging can, uh, to my knowledge, can uh, clear the pathway for better passage of water. But I am not very sure whether it will 100% impact the flood management okay. or not. And about industrialization, whose fault is this? Lack of industrialization, rather. Sir, I think that as it, when it comes to industrialization, uh, there are uh, multifold issues in mm. that. Uh, there are social issues also. 
there are infrastructural issues also okay so when it comes to social issues uh, so looking at from the factors of uh, production i think the spirit of entrepreneurship was missing to some extent because uh, uh, it, there is a lack of education lack of uh, health facilities no, but this is all again the institutionalized regions you didn't do it the people your forefather didn't do it so why should we have suffer now don't you find there is a flaw there sir i think that yes there is a flaw in that context that mm. bihar was not able to develop its manufacturing sector mm. which i think has been recognized recently and uh, there are door to door delivery of electricity now it has been recognized you know tell me the uh, couple of names who are associated with theater in bihar uh, sir um, there is a uh, just can you give me kalidas rangale Hmm. Uh, there is a person uh, called uh, Bhikari Thakur. Bhikari Thakur was a poet. He is a, he he was not with theaters. He wrote dramas. He never did theater. There uh, so in our areas those kind of theaters were performed uh, hmm. in Videsha. There is a local Videsha is a local village theater. I am talking about the all night theater in Patna. That sir, I'll have to check. I I am not aware of it. Okay, so, some good writers nowadays. My last question. Nowadays. Hmm. currently who write prose or poem the contemporary writer sir i'm sorry uh, i'm i'll have to check i'm not aware that. have you heard about alok dhanwa no sir huh? robin shopus geeta pushp uh, no sir no read about them sure sir, sir. ankur you uh, run your own startup yes, kriya labs what is the problem you are solving sir we were trying to solve the problem of stubble burning Uh, our hypothesis was that uh, if the farmers are compensated with their uh, agricultural residues okay. they'll be more than motivated to collect and provide it to the industries which is processing it and we had developed a technology to convert that stubble into biodegradable products like uh, bowls plates etc so it was a win win for both the how did you plan to make money out of it sir our model was that we we'll lo- uh, collaborate with local entrepreneurs okay. and install decentralized units so that uh, we we are able to market these plates and the farmers are there in in a profit sharing manner okay what are the challenges you are facing so uh, we had proved the feasibility of the technology but in terms of proving the viability part uh, there are a lot of aspects like we had a limited experience in terms of business development uh, we needed land there were uh, compliance issues also environmental compliance issues and so personally uh, uh, i made a lot of wrong decisions during the whole uh, startup journey what were those wrong decisions can you share sir uh, the main uh, i think the most uh, the one of the blunders which i did was not being able to articulate my personal vision as a person and the vision of a company in many cases uh, we decided to do those things which were told to us uh, by the venture capitalists instead of thinking ourselves what should be uh, the best thing to do for a company okay so if you join the government and the minister tells you to do a certain thing will you do so i think uh, that that depends on what kind of uh, what kind of topic is being discussed about what happens to your startup if you join the civil service sir uh, right now what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to convert that into a consultancy based model like whoever people who are calling us uh, we are trying to provide them with know how so i i have not fully decided as of now but uh, i think that i'll convert into an uh, ngo kind of a thing okay do you read about startups sometimes sir okay so some people say that indian startups are failing saying the some of the i recent ipos that what do you think indian startups are failing do you think so sir uh, i think a generic and categorical statement that indian startup is failing um, i would uh, differ at this point because uh, in general the startups do fail and startups do succeed it is not specific to india okay have you heard about chat gpt yes sir i have heard about it what is that uh, sir the uh, the vague knowledge which, which i have is that it is an ai based uh, platform where it can chat with you uh, and it can generate data like if you ask uh, ask it to make uh, write an essay it will do it for you so it's a more near human uh, ai based platform i would say okay come from iit delhi and uh, many people in academia are concerned about chat gpt that 
it's very difficult to differentiate between original writing and the writing generated by the algorithm do you see merit in their concern sir uh, i think that the difference between artificial intelligence and uh, natural intelligence is the vision part of it so an artificial intelligence like chat gpt can generate a uh, essay or create something but it it may be logical but it may not uh, be that much creative it may not involve the human uh, touch in uh, either be painting or essays etc so in that context yes the concern of some of the academicians are uh, very valid when uh, they are trying to say that uh, humans will become more lazy and they will be more uh, delegating their work to uh, these computers but another point is that it cannot be 100% delegated so it's not that uh, humans will be uh, completely replaced by the machines many kids in west are using <coughs> chat gpt to do their homeworks do you think it's right sir i think that uh, i personally think that this is not right uh, because uh, the homework is intended to improve your skills but if we are not able to properly regulate and prevent that there should be uh, another software to check uh, the to check whether it is generated from an artificial intelligence based platform or generated another from another ai based software to check the other ai based software right? i think sir if it can be one of uh, the regulations uh, which can be brought into place okay ankur your father comes from a very culturally significant district of india yes sir. what is the significance sir my father belongs to vaishali and uh, vaishali has been uh, one of the uh, breeding grounds for heterodox sects like uh, buddhism jainism etc uh, right now also there is a vishwa shanti stoop there okay uh, so in that context i think vaishali was also one of the first republics uh, in the world it is a place where uh, different ideas are celebrated i would say okay ankur let's suppose you are the district collector of vaishali yes, sir. and a state minister invites you to the wedding of his son and while returning he hands you over a gold coin as a return gift sure, sir. and he insists that you accept it as your other peers have will you accept it sir uh, at that point of time uh, considering the um, uh, situation i would accept it uh, and uh, i'll uh, submit it to the treasury okay but it's right to accept the gold coin at that time so i would say that if uh, the minister is insisting okay uh, then um, considering the auspiciousness of the marriage ceremony i think i will accept it and i'll inform the treasury that this particular gift was uh, given and i'll explain the situation okay <laughs> you will embarrass the <laughs> minister much more and he'll see to it that you are thrown out the next day <laughs> why not refuse at that stage itself उसको ट्रेजरी में जमा करोगे कहाँ से आया आपके पास वो तो भरना पड़ेगा ना उसमें तो कहोगे मिनिस्टर ने दिया मिनिस्टर भी जाएगा <laughs> मिनिस्टर भी जाएगा तुम भी जाओगे <laughs> चलो ठीक है सर बात की बात है प्लीज वेर आउट सर थैंक यू है थैंक्स कुमार क्विकली आप बताइए कि आप हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट योर परफॉर्मेंस दिस मॉर्निंग आई थिंक दैट आई वॉज आउट ऑफ टच इन मेनी क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव टू ब्रश अप मोर ऑन द प्रोहिबिशन आई हैव टू हैव मोर क्लियर थाट्स ऑन द प्रोहिबिशन थिंग यार ये नहीं होता कुछ भी प्रोहिबिशन वोहिबिशन कुछ नहीं है मैं नोट आस्क यू बेटा फिर आप कहोगे मैंने उसको वहाँ ये थोड़ी कहोगे मैंने एग्रीकल्चर पर नहीं पढ़ा दिया ये नहीं होता वेन वेन इज योर इंटरव्यू डेट्स आर नॉट अनाउंस्ड नॉट अनाउंस नॉट सो दैट मीन्स यू हैव वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम मीन्स मोर देन अ मंथ यस सर मोर देन अ मंथ आई मीन प्रोबेबली मंथ तो एटलीस्ट पक्का है हाँ यस और वन मंथ हैज ऑलरेडी पास्ट आफ्टर द रिजल्ट वर अनाउंसड वॉट हैव यू बीन डूइंग टू सोर ऑफ यू नो गेट रेडी फॉर दिस दिस इज अ I mean, this is a rare opportunity coming your way. This is your second attempt. Yes, sir. First one you wrote or you didn't try it. So first one I um, had appeared for prelims in like a fringe attempt in two thousand eighteen, I think. Uh, uh. 
लेकिन ऐसा तो नहीं है कि लाइक इन एवरी थिंग की यू आर लाइक यू नो फिफ्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट हेयर थर्टी परसेंट देयर ऐसा तो नहीं है डिवाइडेड पर्सनैलिटी तो नहीं एफर्ट्स बाई आई डोंट थिंक सो सर पर्सनली नहीं देखिए अब जस्ट टेल मी क्विकली टू थिंग्स दैट यू डेड ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वन मंथ टू आई मीन टू वर्ड्स इंटरव्यू प्रेपरेशन सो आई ट्राई टू फ्रेम मेनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई डैफ and try to answer it and speak it out like articulating my own word quickly one question that you generated an answer you generated tell me about yourself hmm start you, you say the question and answer it also so tell me about yourself or okay why upsc uh, from okay. startup okay whichever whichever question yes so so why upsc so i think um, i have found that um, um, working on ground specifically in agriculture and environment is the one which gives me more meaning to ground mein kaha hai kitni services hai 20 services hai more than that hai na you may get into a service jahan pe ground work naam ka hi nahi aapki agar main list dekhu to usi mein se matlab ek do ko chhod kar aur is mein bhi ground work kitna hai very limited and that comes not from the job ground work comes from the attitude yes isn't it agar aapka ye attitude matlab ye wala ground wala hai so i'm sure you would have uh, pursued your uh, startup i mean in a in a you kitne saal ho gaye 5 saal ho gaye shayad yes sir 5 saal mein to log kahan pahuncha dete hain usko nahi yes there is something missing sure sir. so idea is not to i mean idea is never to discourage we are sitting here to encourage you sure sir. to prompt you you know to do well yes theek hai and uh, now doing well well we can only tell you and guide you sure sir. like you will be guiding through your ngo subsequently yes so kaam to aapko hi karna hai na sure so What I would say is that you tie your seat belt and don't leave the chair at least for you know fifteen hours. Not leave fifteen hours means fifteen hours of work you must put into it. Giving breaks in net fifteen hours. Apka work hona chahiye because rest nine hours are more than enough for you to sleep, eat, and whatever else. Yes. Until unless you are prepared to do it. यू नो क्या फायदा है आप एक साल बिल्कुल रुढ़क जाओगे फिर प्रिलिम फिर लिखना पड़ेगा फिर यहाँ आओगे इन द मीन टाइम यू माइट गेट इन टू स्टिल मोर थाट्स कुछ आपको आई आई टेन वाले दिन का कोई पुराना थाट निकल आएगा आई विश आई को परसू दिस है ना यस तो इफ यू डू दैट काइंड ऑफ यू आर विलिंग टू डू दैट काइंड ऑफ इंटेंस वर्क देन यू विल नॉट गेट इन टू सेकेंड थाट्स एंड थर्ड थाट्स यू विल नॉट लुक बैक यू विल ओनली लुक फॉरवर्ड and you will get through see now getting through is most important whatever the service you get uske baad jo koi aap attempt likhte hain to tab usme aur behtar chances rehte hain but missing a chance is the worst that you should not allow okay so in nutshell this is the advice from this board put in your best efforts study iq has very kindly given you a number of questions yes you know आप उन्हीं को अगर प्रिपेयर कर लोगे तो आई डोंट थिंक यू विल नीड मोर देन दैट एक्सेप्ट मे बी यू नो करंट न्यूज पेपर एंड इवेंट्स उस पर तो जरूर पूछेंगे कल क्या हुआ आज क्या हुआ है ना आज कौन सा दिवस है कौन सा हर दिन कोई ना कोई दिवस होता है ना सेलिब्रेशन इंडिया में आज क्या दिवस है नहीं पता क्या दो मेजर इवेंट्स आज की तारीख में चल रहे हैं इंडिया में फर्स्ट इज द सिंकिंग ऑफ जोशीमठ एंड द सेकेंड इज आई थिंक द प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस विच इज गोइंग ऑन इन दोनों का रिश्ता है कोई आपस में एक तो नेचुरल कलेमिटी है है ना मैं कह रहा हूँ क्या इवेंट मेजर इवेंट चल रहे हैं चलिए खैर बात यह है आप उन पर ध्यान दीजिए जो आपको ढेरों क्वेश्चन बना के दिए गए हैं इट इज समथिंग आई हैव नॉट सीन एनी वेयर है वो sure, so यहाँ पे आपको मिल रहे हैं तो उसका पूरा भरपूर फायदा उठाए देन यू कैन ऑलवेज कम बैक टू योर टीचर्स हेयर कि मेरे को थोड़ा इसमें डिस्कस करना है वो करना है एंड टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स 
जो और लोग अपेयर हो रहे हैं यू नो टॉकिंग एंड डिस्कसिंग मेक्स यू नो थिंग्स वेरी क्लियर यस कॉन्सेप्ट बड़े क्लियर होते हैं इस प्रॉब्लम में मुझे क्या बोलना है क्या बोलना चाहिए मतलब आपका आर्टिकुलेशन जो है ना वो भी थोड़ा सा हिला हुआ है ओके सर जैसे बाल उड़ रहे हैं ना आपके हवा में दाढ़ी भी नहीं बनी हुई पीछे मैंने आपको पहले शुरू में कहा था अलर्ट बैठो ये देखो ना ऐसे बैठे ना आप एकदम ये करके बैठिए कंधे पीछे खींचे हुए वो उसमें आपको सिर्फ उन्हीं को इम्प्रेशन नहीं देना है आपने दैट यू आर अलर्ट यू योर एंटायर केमिस्ट्री चेंजेस विद दैट राइट तो आर्टिकुलेशन हो स्ट्रक्चर क्वेश्चन का फ्रेम ठीक से आंसर फ्रेम से करें आंसर तीन चार सेंटेंस में अपना आंसर पूरा कर दें ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग मोस्ट रेलिवेंट हर क्वेश्चन में देर इज अ स्मॉल लिटल क्रक्स देर इज अ फ्रेज कैच फ्रेज आप उसी को पकड़ के उसी को रिपीट कर दीजिए द पैनलिस्ट विल बी वेरी हैप्पी है ना उसी को हाँ में हाँ मिला दीजिए आपसे सवाल पूछा गया येस सर इट साउंड इट्स इट इज वेरी राइट या इट इज इट साउंड करेक्ट और फिर आप उसमें इफ्स एंड बर्ड्स जोड़ते रहिए तो कहने का मतलब यह है स्टार्ट विद द क्रक्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अ वेरी पॉजिटिव आंसर गिवन टू दैट है ना और श्योर आंसर होना चाहिए ऐसे विशी वॉशिंग वाला नहीं ओके सर और फिर उसमें आप दो चार चीज़ें और जोड़ सकते हैं ठीक है और दो चीज़ें खास तौर से अवॉर्ड ये एडवाइस आपको समझ में आ गई yes, इन नट शेल एक ही एडवाइस है पंद्रह घंटे आप डिवोट करेंगे तो मैं आपको लिख के दे रहा हूँ आप पार करेंगे आप हम सब का किसी का भी टेलीफोन नंबर ले लें कभी भी कॉल करें ठीक है yes. आप अपने टीचर्स को मिलिए डिस्कस करिए प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ यू आर योर प्रिपरेशन एज ऑफ नाव Please don't mind. It doesn't go beyond ten percent, fifteen percent. Sure. You have to take it to hundred percent. So that means you have to add about, let's say, कितना percent daily. आप तीस दिन हैं आपके पास. तीन चार percent ही तो और add करेंगे ना पांच percent add करेंगे. In questions को thoroughly करिए दो बार, तीन बार, चार बार. Okay. Daily newspaper पढ़िए और उसमें जो major events हैं उनका between the lines पढ़िए. Okay. You know, so many times we superficially read the headline, but we do not go deep inside. Asli baat beech mein chhipi hai. Usko kahi na kahi para mein, beech ke ek do para mein end mein, editorials mein bhi hai. And listen to at least one news channel, not panel discussions, just the news headlines. So that koi news aapse akbar se chhut gayi hai, so you can update it. So this is one piece of advice. Second is. वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट दैट इट इज़ नॉट एन इनफॉर्मल चैट और डिस्कशन इट्स अ वेरी वेरी फॉर्मल सिचुएशन सो टू थिंग्स शुड बी अवॉर्डेड यू इन मोस्ट ऑफ योर आंसर्स नॉट एवरी आंसर्स यू आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ कोर्स बट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर्स यू आर सेंग इन माई ओपिनियन है ना भाई आप आप ही का तो ओपिनियन है ना यहाँ पे नेवर कोई प्रीफिक्स लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है ओके ना दिस इज वन सो दिस इज सो जहाँ पे आप नहीं श्योर हैं तो उसे कि सर आई फील दैट दिस इन सो एंड सो बट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट इट तो यही बोलना दैट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट इट इट साउंड वेरी फ्रॉम आंसर है ना ऐसे ढीला डाला आंसर लुढ़कता पड़कता वो नहीं सो दैट विल कम दैट विल कम फ्रॉम वेयर इट विल कम ओनली फ्रॉम इंटेंस होमवर्क फ्रॉम नो वेयर एल्स कॉन्फिडेंस भी उसी से आएगा आर्टिकुलेशन भी आएगा आंखों में चमक भी उसी से आएगी ठीक है सो अवॉइड इन माई ओपिनियन एंड ऐसी कोई भी फ्रेज दूसरी बात आप जैसे नॉर्मली होता है हम बात में करते हैं ना अरे लाइक इफ इट हैपन्स देन वो यू यू आर यू विल बी एबल टू डू इट यू विल यू आर यू आर वाला कुछ नहीं बोलना है है ना बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग टू अ मेम्बर यू आर चैटिंग विद अ मेम्बर बट अ सीरियस चैट उसमें यू वर्ड नहीं एक्सप्रेशन यू वाला नहीं यूज करना है यू कैन से दैट इफ अ सिचुएशन इज लाइक दिस देन वन वुड रिएक्ट लाइक दिस और वी वुड रिएक्ट लाइक दिस ओके है ना यू वुड रिएक्ट लाइक दिस मत कहिए ओके है ना वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट योर स्टार्टअप यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अदर थिंग्स तो यू नो मोस्टली यू आर सेंग यू यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू यू कैन डू इट नहीं 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 ये वाला यू वाला एक्सप्रेशन नहीं चलता है थर्ड पर्सन ओके वन और वी विल ऑल्सो डू ओके कोई डाउट है तो पूछिए सर यू वाला 
क्लियर नहीं हुआ मतलब आया था क्या ये डायरेक्टली मतलब मैं तो नोट भी किया ना आया था मैं आई एम जस्ट फॉर गेटिंग मुझे पूरा सेंटेंस लिखना चाहिए था आपका यू सेड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू आई थिंक यू आर आंसरिंग हिम ऑन स्टार्टअप थिंग और समथिंग थर्ड पर्सन वो होते ना स्टार्टअप पे है वो आपका पर्सनल इशू है तो आप उसमें बहुत इन्वॉल्व हो जाते हैं तो आप भूल जाते हैं कि फॉर्मल लोकेशन है एंड देन यू गेट इन टू द लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो यू नो स्लिप्स इन टू मोर इनफॉर्मल ओके सो आपका कसूर नहीं है सभी के साथ होता है बट वन हैज टू रिमाइंड श्योर सर आंसर बहुत लंबे नहीं करोगे तो भी संभला रहेगा क्या ठीक है सर बट मैं आपको गारंटी के साथ कह सकता हूँ ये बिल्कुल गारंटी के साथ यू आर एन आई आई टी मटीरियल है ना आई आई टी के बंदे हो आप मटीरियल नहीं प्रोडक्ट हो तो मतलब आपके अंदर बहुत सॉल्ट है और कैंडिडेट्स में नहीं है इतना दे आर नॉट फ्रॉम दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो दे आर नॉट दैट प्रिवलेज और फिर आपके पास एक्सपीरियंस है स्टार्टअप का है ये है वो है तो यू नो वॉट इज मिसिंग इज ओनली विच इज डूएबल वो है होमवर्क है बस yes. आप पक्का निकलोगे हंड्रेड परसेंट निकलोगे लेकिन ये गड़बड़ नहीं करना है पंद्रह घंटे की आज से ही शुरू करना है बिल्कुल ठीक है okay, sir. And we'll keep a watch on your performance. Yes. Well, what Sir has said, uh, I think is very valid point. You have come out from a very prestigious institute, which is known in the world. Yes. So, first of all, think of that—that that you have to come up to that level, much more than the normal other people. Yes. You have to build up your own standard. Don't let your institute suffer. the he is from iit delhi how did he get into it okay so you have to work that 15 hours 16 hours whatever time you can devote more and more work on that okay sir. you are a, you are a, because it's not easy to get into such institutes you have capability which you can explore yourself and you can do much much better you are, you have come here today yes you should have taken care of that you come here before time Yes. Ensure that, not in this way that uh, we look that we, as if you have been just pushed in from the train <coughs> and you came and uh, to attend the interview. You have to be nicely dressed. Appearance is one of the things which certainly uh, impresses the board people. I'll keep that. And your sitting posture has to be forward. Don't lean be- behind. Okay. so that you know inquisitiveness is shown that you are keen to learn more okay that is very important we small treat but keep it in mind sir see hanko uh, when you are coming from bihar uh, there will be many questions on which you have to give a critical appraisal now you always keep in mind you are still not in government as a candidate you are free to criticize government okay not ex- go to the extremes don't become a naxal but then you can always say yes like the prohibition issue yes sir it is policy is good but then implementation is flaw okay hmm. like where there is a production of hooch normally police should know where what is happening but they are not working on the ground okay similarly on industry issue river valley projects because the rivers are changing course it is not the failure of rvp it is not the failure of nepal government the koshi where it was flowing 20 years ago it has changed the course gandak there is no issue buri gandak there is no issue major problems is because of kamla balan bagmati and koshi okay. if you go through the bihar site industry site and irrigation site you will come to know about these things so i suggest you go to the bihar government sites okay know what are the regions of failure of uh, um, uh, regions of these floods okay? okay similarly for industry so be open to criticize if something is wrong wrong yes but then give a ray of hope and in bullet answers don't keep on speaking theek hai aur ek apne naam ko lekar ke ek thoda pad lijiyega आपके नाम से एक फिल्म बनी थी और ज़्यादातर हमारे जैसे बुढ़े लोग बैठे होंगे तो दे विल आस्क यू वो हैव यू सीन दैट फिल्म मेरे मन में ऐसे ही आया मैंने बोल दिया ठीक है वेरी आर्टिस्टिकली वेल एक्लेम्ड फिल्म अंकुर
अंकुर समटाइम्स एन इंटरव्यू कैन बी अ स्ट्रेस इंटरव्यू तो आई फेल्ट इन अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन दैट योर फेस एंड एक्सप्रेशन गॉट वेरी वेरी सीरियस फ्राउनिंग हाँ तो उस पर थोड़ा चेक रखना ठीक है बिकॉज यू गॉट अ गुड स्माइल यूज इट टू योर एडवांटेज बाकी आई थिंक बाकी वॉज फाइन आई थिंक समराइजेस यू विल डू वेल थोड़ा यू विल डू वेल जस्ट जस्ट बी वेल प्रिपेयर मतलब प्रिपेयर गो होम एंड जस्ट प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू अच्छे से करो यू हैव वेरी गुड नॉलेज ओके जस्ट एक्सप्लोर इट ओके सर प्रेजेंटेशन में दिक्कत है और कहीं दिक्कत थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एस अब तैयारी हुई अफोर्डेबल